I believe there is no such a thing as an unintelligent student, and that all students are capable of the highest academic achievement when empowered. I know I wouldn't have been here today if not because of Mercy. Mercy was my primary school best friend, whom I ended up sharing a desk with when I was escorted back to my former grade. I've been repeated due to poor grades and tried to sneak into the next grade with my mate because in my mind I thought the new teacher couldn't find me out, but sure he did. I was embarrassed and couldn't bear the thought of not being able to play with my mate or explain to them the reason why I had been repeated. Mercy was the first person to talk to me and invited me to lunch as I sat down crying quietly inside. My grades started picking up when we became friends as a result of the positive influence of, of her friendship. She looked up to me as a big sister and when I realized that she was always among the first three position in class, I decided to improve on my grades to keep up face. I learned and emulated how she paid attention in class and the seriousness that she attached to assignments. The compliments and encouragement from my teachers, family, also helped boost my confidence and self-esteem. And as I sat on the bicycle that my dad promised by the person who would be in the first four position in class with a sense of pride, I told myself I was never going to fail a class ever again. And that I will one day do my small part to support students who are struggling with their grades. You know, students who get repeated in class because of poor grades usually have challenges with their studies. And they usually tend to lose their self-confidence, become discouraged, and are more likely to drop out of school as a result of the repetition. But empowering these students will help them develop a positive self-esteem and also have options from which they can make healthy, informed choices in their life. I therefore now organize mentoring program for students in my communities, where students who have been repeated, and even those who are struggling with their grades get the opportunity to, to attend. These students are supported to build their self-esteem, their confidence, and also how to map their career path. I also organize an educational tour at my workplace, which is Crop Research Institute and the nearest university, that is Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, for them to interact with the professor and scientists and also expose them to their work. My experience here at the Ohio State University in Columbus has really humbled and motivated me to do more for these students back home. I've been overwhelmed by the compliment and the personal interest in my work by the people I've had the opportunity of meeting. I've also taken notice of how the opinions of each fellow is valued and how systems have been put in place to help everyone succeed. I've also been impressed with how individuals have been supported and contributed to build the city. And now from my experience here, I intend to improve on my career and serve as a better role model and mentor the student back home. I will take a personal interest in their welfare by creating a system through which I can follow their progress and also advise them on issues and challenges they face in their life. I intend to organize workshops for their teachers to better equip them to help these students. And finally, I also collaborate with other Mandela Washington fellows in my country with interest in education to organize outreach programs in their communities. That will provide a platform for them to share their experience and for us to learn from each other. When I shared at our Yali Institute that I had repeated a class in elementary school, I found out that more than one person of our distinguished co members have also suffered such a setback at the education. But still, like me, they will be able to overcome it to a greater success to make a difference in their life and society. These are some of the unknown success stories that these students need to hear to inspire them to make a difference in their life and society. Thank you.